Hi and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to have a look at the liver. Um, we're going to do this in a couple of different videos. This video we're going to actually look at an overview of the structure of the liver and the dual blood supply associated with the liver. And then in another video we'll have a look at the finer detail about the parenchyma and structure of the liver lobules. So let's start our three minutes. So what I've done is I've taken this trichrome stain section because it really um, highlights the classic features of the histologist's understanding of the structure of the liver. So in here, green or blue is the connective tissue fibers, so the collagen and elastic fibers, and the red is the more functional cells, the parenchyma of the liver. And this is a section of the pig liver, and we classically use this in histology because it, um, they have very well-defined lobules. So a liver is made up of lobes, and then those lobes are further subdivided by connective tissue into lobules. So if we have a look here, here's one lobule, and then there's another lobule over here and here and so on. You can see multiple lobules uh, within this liver. So these are the main sort of functional areas uh, of the liver. Now the liver has what we refer to as a dual blood supply. So it receives two different types of blood vessels. It receives a branch of the hepatic artery, which is a branch of the abdominal aorta, and that's carrying oxygen-rich blood to supply oxygen to the cells of the liver. The other blood supply is a, um, from the hepatic portal vein, and that's blood which is being collected from the gastrointestinal tract where all the nutrients have been absorbed, and then they are uh, passed to the liver where they're then processed by the liver cells. So we can actually see evidence of this dual blood supply when we have a look at the connective tissue or the stroma of the liver. So if we zoom in to one of these areas, this area here is often referred to as the portal region or the uh, portal triad because it usually contains at least three different structures. The first of these is the uh, branch of the hepatic artery. So here we've got a hepatic arteriole. These are the endothelial cells. These are the smooth muscle that's making up the wall of the arteriole. The second blood supply is coming from a branch from the hepatic portal vein and so this is a little venule and you can actually if we zoom in a little bit more you can just make out the lumen here so it's not very obvious amongst the connective tissue because it's obviously thin walled vein. The third of the structures that we find in this region are the bile ducts. So this is actually a bile duct here which is collecting all of the bile being produced by the patocytes. So they produce the bile, they travel via little channels called canaliculi, bile canaliculi, and then they all coalesce and eventually link up and drain the bile into these bile ducts which eventually of course either go to the gallbladder or are released directly into the duodenum. So that's really the sort of overview of the, uh, the understanding of the dual blood supply with the branch of the hepatic artery, the hepatic portal vein, um, supplying blood to the functional cells of the liver just here.